Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the best new season luxury items under a thousand pounds. These are all new season items, so I'm not talking any old favorites here. I don't feel like anyone needs to hear me talk about how much I love my Gucci belt again. So I'm only talking new arrivals and these are all items under a thousand pounds. So this is ideal if you're looking to update your wardrobe with a new luxury accessory, but you don't want to spend Chanel level money on a bag, for example. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is in collaboration with my Teresa, who I partnered with many times before and I'm so excited and honored to be working with them again. They really are one of my favorite online stores. I absolutely love everything on their site and everything that I'm talking about here today is available from myteresa.com. So I will link everything down below. So my first pick is this Ulla Johnson basket bag. I am such a huge fan of Ulla Johnson. I've spoken about the brand before on my channel. I absolutely love the entire line. The clothing is very expensive, but the bags are priced a little bit more reasonably. And I saw this and absolutely fell in love. I've been after the perfect basket bag for the longest time. I've really struggled to find one that I've liked at a good price point. And then I stumbled across these and I absolutely love them. I have another bag from Ulla Johnson, which I love as well. They do this in the kind of traditional basket colorway, I guess, so kind of like a sandy beige. I, of course, went for the pink one. I thought it was so cute and we'll just go with everything because of how pale it is. You can carry it by the little top handles or you can carry it with the longer strap, which is detachable as well. And then it just opens up at the top with a little fastening. It's super, super cute and it opens up like a proper little picnic basket. How adorable is that? It's very lightweight as well. And it does have a lining with a little pocket there and the Ulla Johnson label right there. I honestly thought this was just the most adorable thing. Perfect for spring, summer, ideal for wearing with breezy dresses and skirts. So whimsical and fun. And I think this was 350 pounds. So definitely not super cheap, but certainly cheaper than some of the ones out there that I've been seeing, which are one, 2000 pounds. I thought this was just absolutely beautiful. Next up is my Valentino tote, which absolutely had to make the cut because I have been so impressed with it. I've absolutely loved using it and it's been my go-to bag ever since I got it. I have not changed out of it at all. And I don't even know that I want to show that, it's so messy. But I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, it's so, so great. I have been using a bag liner because it is definitely a softer leather than, for example, I guess my Louis Vuitton Nevfuls, which obviously they're not leather, but it is quite a sturdy bag, whereas this leather is very soft, so I wanted to use the bag shaper just to ensure that it kind of keeps its shape, and it's been doing so great. I've really been loving it. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. I have found it to be neutral enough to go with everything. It's very, very comfortable to wear as well. It's extremely lightweight, but it also seems to be very strong, so I've been keeping an eye on these shoulder straps. I've had absolutely no issues at all and I just love everything about this I think it's very distinctive looking I love the studs right here I think it makes it very unique but at the same time it is a very traditional tote bag so it's going to go with everything it's still quite subtle and I love this bag so much so would definitely recommend if you've been after a tote bag but aren't a fan of for example the Neverfull if you want something a little bit more understated but you still want something that's going to look really chic I think this is a wonderful choice and speaking of Valentino I also wanted to include their camera bag which I think it's so beautiful I've been sorely tempted to get this one myself I think it's such a stunning choice you can get it in the same color as my tote bag which you know I'm a fan of I think it really is the perfect blue shade you know it's pale enough to go with everything it's a very nice new Neutral, but at the same time it does just add that little bit of color and the blue gray shade is just so pretty and stunning and in camera bag form it's just as pretty the camera bag is priced at 830 pounds which I think is a reasonable price you know there are some camera bags which are a lot more especially if you're looking at kind of Chanel Louis Vuitton and the quality that I've seen on my Valentino bag has been very good this is my only Valentino bag that I've had obviously I've had many shoes from them before and with the exception of maybe one pair I've loved them all so I've really only had good experiences with quality from Valentino. And I think this is a beautiful choice if you are after a camera bag style or just generally looking for a casual bag. Next up is my Saint Laurent pouch. This is one of the items that I got from the My Teresa sale that happened a few weeks ago. It finally arrived and I've got to say, I absolutely love it. I've been looking for something mock croc for a really long time, couldn't decide what to get. And then I revisited this one and I just fell in love with it all over again. I think it is such a beautiful design. 
it also comes in white but I decided to go for the black one it just has silver hardware with the very iconic YSL logo on the front it's mock croc everywhere and it's such a beautiful leather texture it feels really nice it is a wristlet design so you can just hold it like that and then it opens up it's a very decent size actually, so you have one pocket on this side, you have another pocket on the other side, and you also have card slots as well. So it's almost like a wallet on a chain, but you can fit a decent amount in there. I just thought this was so chic. The silver hardware is a bit more of a matte style, so it has a really cool edgy look to it. And I just think this is so perfect for the coming season. Mock Rock is everywhere at the moment. And combined with the YSL logo, I just think it's such a gorgeous option. So huge fan of this. This one is under £500 as well, which considering most of St. Laurent's bags are well over 1000 I do think this makes a very, very nice option, which is a little bit more accessible in terms of price. And now back to Valentino, I did also want to include my sandals, which aren't technically super new season, albeit they have re-released them for this season and they are new arrivals, but I did get these, I think last year, um, but they've been such a favorite for me, especially when the warmer weather rolls around. These are so comfortable, much like the Valentino kitten heels. These are by far the most comfortable shoes I own from the line. The high heels are great, but not super comfortable in my opinion, and the flats really aren't comfortable, but the kitten heels are where they seem to really excel at comfort. These are so great, good for all day long. You know, if you wanted to wear these walking around, I can absolutely do that without any problems. And I just think that the design is so beautiful. I got these in the Poudre color, such a great neutral. They go with everything, but they just look a little bit more edgy than your traditional sandal. And with the added heel height, they're just that little bit more flattering than a completely flat sandal absolutely love these. I think they make a beautiful option. I do also think that they are super classic as well. So you're going to be able to wear these for many, many years. And I just love my debit. So if you've been on the lookout for a nice block heeled sandal, but you want something with a little bit more detail, I would definitely recommend to check these out. I've been loving mine. Next up is another camera bag. And this one is from Saint Laurent. This is called their Lou camera bag. And I've heard so much about this bag and I can completely understand why there is hype because I think it's absolutely beautiful. If you like the camera bag style, then this is absolutely one to look at, especially if your style is a little bit more edgy. I think this is so cool looking. It's also very iconically YSL, you know, it has the YSL logo right in the middle. It has that gorgeous chevron leather and it's just very cool looking, I think. It does look to be a decent size as well and I can't speak to the wear and tear of this particular bag because obviously I don't own it, but I do have many other bags from Saint Laurent and I've always been really impressed with how they've worn. I absolutely love them. They're some of my favorite bags. And I think this is such a beautiful, cool style. This one is priced at 850, which again, if you look at the whole line of Saint Laurent, a lot of their bags go much closer to the 1500 and even 2000 pound mark so this is priced a lot lower than some of the other bags and the camera bag is such a beautiful timeless style which will go with everything so another beautiful camera bag choice i think this one is absolutely stunning next up is a new addition to my collection in the form of a jimmy chew clutch it's still in its dust bag and so it kind of has its wrapping on it but i have been after this for so long this is a very very fancy clutch though i always get asked about my recommendations for evening clutches and generally speaking i always say go for the saint laurent wallet on a chain which i think is such a beautiful evening option it also works for kind of daytime events like weddings and things like that it's really great very functional and i love mine but i have been eyeing this up for just a very occasional bag when you do have a very special occasion and I think it's stunning so I'm going to show you what it looks like and it's this absolutely beautiful clutch the color combination is very up my street it's this beautiful pale pink glitter and this part is a fabric and then it has just gold hardware all the way across it still has its plastic on it but I will take that off now so here it is and it just opens up at the front right there and then as you see on the inside it's covered in tissue paper but you do just have a leather interior with the Jimmy Choo emblem right there it does have a chain with it as well if you did want to wear it with a chain as opposed to as a clutch but honestly I think this is one of the most beautiful bags I've ever seen this really is the kind of item that borders on jewelry for me because the hardware is such a huge part of it and it is so delicate and beautiful I absolutely love everything about this. It isn't the lightest, but it's certainly lighter than other box clutches I have, namely my Sophia Webster one, which is super, super heavy. But this is just kind of heavy enough to be substantial without being so heavy it's going to be uncomfortable. 
obviously can't fit a ton but it can fit a phone in and a couple of other essentials but how beautiful is this for a fancy evening clutch i think it's so stunning and i'm so so excited to finally have this in my collection I'm down to my last two items now, and my next pick is from a relatively new brand called Stoud, I think. Unfortunately, I don't have it here with me, but this one is actually winging its way to me, so it is on order, and I'm super excited to get it. I believe the brand originated in LA, and as I mentioned, they are fairly new, but you might recognize some of their designs because they have had a few it bags, which have been super popular all over social media and Instagram. They do bags which are very cool looking, very, very modern, and very sleek, and they're particularly known now for their their little bucket bags but also their PVC bags. PVC is a huge trend at the moment and it took me a little while to come around to it. I'm still not really on board with spending kind of two or three thousand pounds on a designer or a very kind of high-end PVC bag but I am all about indulging at a slightly more accessible price point and all of styled bags run at around about the £175 mark so much more reasonable than £2,000, I'm sure you'll agree, and they do some gorgeous designs. The one I ordered is a white kind of PVC combination, so it is a top handle style with a white leather handle and also a white mock croc pouch on the inside. So it hits a couple of trends there with the PVC and the mock croc, and it's almost two bags in one because you can take the pouch out, I believe, and it also helps to protect your privacy. There are two colors, I think, so you can get a brown as well, but I really like the white one because I thought it looked super fresh, but they do a few different variations of this design. I think they are so modern and sleek and just look very of the moment, and it does help that the price is much lower than £500, which is quite a rarity in today's bag market. So I absolutely love this one. I think it's a gorgeous choice at a fairly accessible price point. And then finally for my very last pick, I could not include some Jean Vita Rossi's. If you follow my channel closely, you will know how much I love this line of shoes. They are by far my favorite heels. I find them all incredibly comfortable, especially in terms of the heel height. They are very, very high, but relatively speaking, these are very comfortable for what they are. And these are the newest ones in my collection. These are the leopard print ones, which I waited a very long time for these to come back in stock. They did sell out pretty much as soon as they launched, but they are now back in stock and I think they are absolutely beautiful. I love all things leopard print at the moment and I've always been a big fan of leopard print but obviously it's having a big moment right now and I just think these are so chic. I absolutely love the design, the look, the colour, just everything about these shoes is perfect. It's their simple kind of stiletto pump so it's very very classic. It fits very well, it stays on your foot and again especially considering the heel height these are very comfortable so I absolutely love these. These are perfect as well if you are quite a neutral dresser and you just want a statement shoe to dress your whole outfit up. These are an ideal choice and obviously very on trend with the leopard print. So that is it for this video guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me then leave them down below, but as I mentioned I will leave links to everything in the description section. Thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.